Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Kick Up Games uh, YouTube channel. Um, today I'm very uh, glad to present to you my own analysis, my own uh, thoughts, and uh, would want to share to you how I think Pegaxi uh, uh, as compared to Axie Infinity. Um, if you're new, um, this, I guess this is a good um, starting point to uh, do your research. Um, I based all my opinions, obviously, on my experience on using both the um, platform, the game, and I was uh, able to use it both as an um, gamer and as a owner. So I think I, I am in the right position to tell you how I feel about these two games. And please let me know at the end of this um, uh, video if um, uh, what do you think? Who won the battle? Who, who, who do you think will, um, will uh, bring home the uh, trophy? Okie dokie. So I'll be presenting eight different um, parameters and compare them in eight major points. And I hope as well, guys, you, you share this to everyone so at least uh, they have an idea if uh, what I've been feeling about these two games is um, also the same thing that they're feeling right now. And same as to you, please let me know on the comment section if I have a point or not. And obviously at the end of the game, I'll give you my own verdict, which one would I think go in a long, um, good, has a good future, has more potential and et cetera, et cetera. But, but then again, don't forget this is not a, um, financial advice in case you're planning to invest. This is just based on my own experience. Okie dokie, and just to give you an information. All right, let's go deep dive into it. First point is the gaming aspect. So how does the game works? Obviously, Axe Infinity, you need a lot of thinking. You need to have that deep strategy strategy you need to have to know how to um, use your cards to know all the cards um, you need to concentrate you need to multitask for you to count energies what else um, you need to predict what your opponents will going to do when is the proper timing to pass when will you use this card when will you um, attack the back or when will you just you know heal or etc etc so it's a really mind game it's a very challenging game and obviously you feel good when you win on the other hand for pegaxi i think it's completely the opposite it's like you don't need to think anything there's no challenge you just need to click that start button and then you need to approve in your meta bask that you need uh, that you're wanting to go on that lobby click sign in and just wait for a few seconds and then the race will start. Once the race starts, no more. You have no more control. I felt like it's a random, it's a random winning. You don't even know why at the moment there's no um, press release as to how the horses are winning because they keep telling whenever someone asks that um, how are the horse winning? Is it because of the stats? Because as you can see, horses have stats in terms of strength, um lightning water etc so they keep sell they, they the support from um uh pegaxi just keeps telling it's not uh, it's just random at the moment so in in this first aspect if you want challenge if you want thrill if you want uh, if, if you like the hardcore combat battle mode i think pegaxi is not the game for you Axie Infinity will fit more into your uh, gaming lifestyle. Okay, so that's the number one. Number two, cost to enter. So how much will you need to enter into the game? Obviously with Axie Infinity, it's cheaper now because again, so many people are selling their Axis at a low price. Um, we don't know why, mainly be, uh, it's either they're not happy with the game anymore with the way that the uh, utility token is going, or it could be there's so much breathing happening every single day and now it's we're bombarded with so many um, 
um, Axi. Another thing is um, there's a lot of nerfing that had happened recently, especially with the season 19. So those strong axes before are not strong anymore. So most people want to upgrade. So for them to upgrade, they need to sell their axe. And obviously, if they sell their axe with the original price, which was, which was very expensive a few months ago, way back in July, August, then they cannot sell. So most people just um, sell them at a low price, losing price. Another thing is maybe the breathing um, output is not good. Only again, because of the nerfings that had done, like before Terminators used to be really good during season 17 um, and 18, but now they're very pretty weak. Same with the Aqua. So there's a lot of factors why it's, it's, it's um, uh, lower now to enter into Axie Infinity. If you go to their marketplace, you can even see like $50 Axie now. So if you have like $150, you can already enter. As compared before, you use you need to have at least $1,000 to get a decent Axie. Okay, but since we're doing the comparison now, I can say that um, Axie, you can already enter as low as $150 for three Axies. It could even go more because some people are already listing $40. For Peg Axie, it's very expensive now. Again, why? Because the demand is so high. Not so many horse are being breeded because there's a cooling down period. Like you cannot just, after a horse is born, you cannot just breed straight away. You cannot just rage straight away. They put a cooling period depending on the bloodline. Obviously the high factor is also because there's more people wanting to buy horse now. So obviously the demand is high, the supply is low. So what's the price will shoot up. I think the lowest at the moment is um, at, at 725 USDT. So that's the cheapest at the moment. And it keeps rising every single day. Okay, so it depends on the budget. If you're in a very low budget, go with Axie Infinity. If you have an extra budget, then Pegaxi. You can try Pegaxi. Number three. Game token or the utility token or the token that you generate when you're playing. In Axe Infinity, it's called um, SLP or Smooth Love Potion. In Pagaxi, it's called VIS or Vigorous or Vigorous, uh, whatever, how you, whatever you pronounce it. So um, obviously, Axe Infinity SLP, uh, it's very depressing to say that the graph I will show you later. Um, after it had peak or reached its ATH or all-time high, it just constantly going down, 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 and down. It will just go up if there's an update, but it keeps constantly going down. Now, with um, uh, this, the uh, in-game token of um, Pegaxi, uh, obviously it went high at one point as well, and it went down, but at the moment, it keeps going up. So again, I will show you the actual um, live um, graph later on, just for you to feel the direction of the game. Okie dokie. And I think as far as I know, SLP is now ranging between 0 0.018 something as compared to this, which is already now 0 0.7 something. So there's a big difference. Number four, burning mechanism. Axe Infinity, until up to this point that we are recording this video, and by the time it will be launched to our YouTube channel, um, they never implemented yet a consistent, sustainable um, result-oriented. Uh, they never released any anything or they didn't do anything yet to you know help slp go back to its original price all right they did before um they slashed the axs token to breed the axi and increase the slp value but obviously they did that i think two or three times now or four times but obviously it 
based on the price of the SLP, it didn't help. It didn't help at all. Now, recently, they had um, they had uh, released a an update of their plans. It even make the um, investors and gamers more furious because again, it's not something that everyone expect. They they are planning to slash again the amount of um, SLP to be uh, generated. Obviously, their main objective is to lessen the amount of um, SLP being minted or produced. And to be honest, I think that's the only way at the moment unless they can do more. But obviously, most, most of the gamers and the investors are not happy because again, it will just keep the uh, profit or the ROI really low. As compared to um, Pegaxi, um, at the moment, I'm so surprised. They're just using one bur burning mechanism at the moment, which is breeding. But it proves to be very, very effective, mainly because they have a cooling period. Like after you breed a horse, you cannot just breed straight away. You need to wait a certain time depending on the bloodline. So with this way, at least they can minimize the sudden growth of a number of volumes of horses being used or generated. And same thing, same thing, obviously, it affects the, um, the um, uh, this uh, minting, okay? Now, knowing that this is already working, they also have upcoming, upcoming, very acceptable, very useful um, plan of burning more this tokens and that, in terms of food, changing name, changing colors, what else? Um, gear, and the biggest one will be the stadium. So um, I, 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 everyone is excited once all of those are coming into place. I'm pretty sure the this burning rate will go higher more. Later on, I'll show you as well the graph of the mint versus um, burning uh, graph of both Axie Infinity and Peg Axie for you to gauge the live um, stats in terms of the burning mechanism. Next, marketplace. Okay, Axie Infinity, uh, they, they, they really have really good marketplace. The filtering, the, the, the pricing, you know, the searching, it's really, really good. It's already we very well established, uh, especially with the last one that they had updated. So that's really, really good. And when they've released the Ron Index, gee, it was so perfect. It's so easy to purchase a um, Axie now. You can directly um, transfer and swap between AXS and SLP. It's really, really perfect. It's very, very easy in terms of buying and selling and swapping tokens, or even if you want to stake your tokens and swap tokens, it's very easy, very smooth. Now with Pegaxi, I think this is the part they still need to improve. It's so hard. It's very long process. Say if you have a USDT, because in marketplace, in um. Pegaxi, you need USDT to purchase a horse. The process is not streamlined. Like you need to go to Binance and then buy a USDT. And then most of the time the withdrawal is off. So you need to, to do something else and uh, go to your MetaMask. And then in short, the, the process is too long. It's very hard. It's very hard to purchase. I mean, like you need to, you cannot do it straight away. You need to research and go to their tech support and ask ask your friend or whoever go to their discord and also the marketplace of um uh, pegaxi at the moment has a very minimal um, filtering so you can't even filter by win rate you can filter high and low prices but there's still a lot of um requests that's being made for them to implement in the marketplace However, when they've introduced the Apollo, it's a good way to know different stats related to the horse, whether you're earning your horse stats, etc., etc. Number six, 
Okay, ROI, return of investment. Uh, obviously, this is um, addressed or important if you're an owner or an investor. You're very particular how long before you can uh, recoup or regain your investment. For Axie Infinity, before, yes, before, during the golden days when they were able to, you know, pump SLP, but since when did it started? I think around October or end of September when the SLP, they cannot control anymore the sliding of the SLP. So now it's very, very long. I think even if you only invest 500 before, it will now take time to recover everything because as you can see, 0 0.0185, how will you how many days how many months how many <laughs> before you can recoup your 500 for pegaxi it's it's um expensive but since the vis token and the uh, governance token keeps going up roi is 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 very quick and i made a calculation before um less than two months you can easily recoup one horse, your investment for one horse. And if obviously, again, assuming that the rate of um, increase of the um, in-game to token keeps going to its current direction, maybe it could be one, four to six weeks, you can easily recoup your one horse investment. Okay, so that's, that's the uh, ROI. Number seven, scholarship. In Ax Infinity, uh, when you want to have scholars, obviously you need to recruit, you need to find them yourselves. Second, you need to create an account for them and then transfer all your axes in that account and then give them the uh, QR code or, uh, or the uh, email and password. And then obviously you need to monitor and then manually transfer the SLP to them. And you need to manually farm the SLP, move it somewhere, and then all do all your accounting, et cetera, et cetera. So in short, there's a lot of process that's involved. And obviously as a manager, I know how it is. And I don't know how uh, the big investors are coping with this um, scholarship. I assume they hired someone else just for, for them to monitor all those going in and out, passing in Axie from one um, uh, account to another, generating QR, etc., etc. So it's very manual at the moment. Now in Pegaxi, I really like it because everything is done in the um, marketplace. Like it's so easy, it's so easy to find a scholar. You don't even need to look. Once you list your um, Pegaxi in the marketplace, in the share profit, boom, in less than one minute, it's gone. That's how fast it is. And then you don't need to manually, you know, calculate and give them their share, your share, and then move this force to that. You don't need to do that. You just click take back, pay the gas fees, that's it. So. I like in Pegaxi because um, there's also protection between both the parties, the renters, the scholars, and the owners. Because in Axi, there's a lot of um, scams that we heard um, in the past and maybe still ongoing that some owners just, you know, uh, get away with their scholars. They just simply, you know, uh, transfer their axi to another account and there's so many reports of, reports of that that um, some scholars are not get, getting paid because they're getting scammed in peg axi it will never happen because once you you uh, put into rent and someone take it the the system will automatically detect both your shares so you just simply take back your horse when it's due so i guess that this is one thing that uh, attracts me a lot in 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 um in Pegaxi. Number eight, tech support and community relations. Um, for Axie Infinity, I had a few issues before that I tried to raise via email um, and via the submit ticket button from the um, Axie Infinity website to their technical support. Um, obviously, there's a lot of users. That's why it takes time before you can get an answer. I think it takes weeks. 
they have automated answers, but the actual answer will take weeks. As uh, compared to Pegaxi, once um, you chat them via the, the, their Discord, you can instantly get an answer. And they're very consistent. All their documentations are in there. They just copy and paste it to you. And even if same questions are being asked every now and then, they're very patient. In Axe Infinity, there's been a lot of, uh, obviously, uh, recently they've emailed some um updates about you know code of conduct uh, code of conduct and reminding the community to be nice blah 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 in short in short the community feels like they're not being heard that's why they're very furious obviously that's what um makes people um not good in fact i have a separate video for that i if you hadn't seen it please check my videos my uh, our videos here in kikapi games i reviewed the code of conduct and most of it i just said um you cannot control how people react you cannot control how people react and obviously people are angry because they felt like they're not being heard and at the moment the the community is so negative about the game um Obviously, one one reason the SLP they the the entire community always thinks that Axie Infinity doesn't or the Sky Mavis team doesn't give them enough reasons to stay, and the community community has been waiting for a long time. Like um, the the development team are just focusing on the game, but they never address the SLP etc etc so in short the, the community in axe infinity at the moment is very negative as compared to you know when you look at the discord server of um pegaxi everyone is just so hyped up very um very bullish about the game you can only see so many positive um news and chat so i can feel when i each time i go to the Pegaxis Discord server that everyone is just helping one another. Very seldom you can see someone, you know, bashing someone or saying negative things or very inappropriate things to someone else. It's very seldom that I see that in the, in fact, I hadn't seen one myself. Okay, so for me, for me personally, when I choose Pegaxi, um, out of those eight, out of those eight um, uh, factors that I discussed, for me, what matters is the burning mechanism, the ROI, um, and the in-game tokens. And the uh, sorry, sorry, uh, the burning mechanism, the scholarship, and the ROI. For me, those are the three major things that made me decide. To choose Peg Axie over Axie Infinity, because in the game, uh, I'm not I'm not a hardcore gamer, so that doesn't matter for me. Community or tech, I can wait. I can be patient. I can extend my patience. I don't care what other people say. So community for me is not a big deal. Uh, obviously, in-game token is uh, just a uh, just an output of the uh, burning mechanism. So yes, um, I will show you after this, this last slide uh, of the actual um, uh, graph, just to show you what I'm trying to say. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to our other social media pages for uh, updates because we post everything that we did. We do uh, post also in YouTube. Uh, we have some promotions ongoing. We also refer to other guilds if we need to. Um, you can also message me if you want to join our Discord server and chat with us. And yes, please, please let me know what are your thoughts of everything that I just said. Um, I'm leaving up to you. Which one do you prefer? And again, this is just, again, based on my own experience. Now I want to share to you the um, burning mechan uh, the uh, mint versus burned uh, graph of um, SLP and V token. This is for the SLP. As you can see, the SLP being produced, the one in pink is way, way higher as compared to the orange one, the SLP being burned. 
with um, Pegaxi, can you see the difference? 91% being burned. And there are a few days that, uh, see, they're almost even, almost, almost even. And sometimes you can see this is way hard, more than 100% at one point in time. So the burning uh, rate is so high, 90%. It never sits below on a daily basis. Now let's go to the um, graph of the live graph of the SLP token. It's currently, SLP is currently sitting at 0 0.01814. The graph you're seeing now is a one month graph. Now let's go to the VIS or vigorous price for um, um, Pegaxi. It's currently sitting at 0 0.07763. And this is also same one month graph. As you can see, it keeps growing back up and it has potential to grow more. All right, so I will end that. Um, I will end this video with that and I hope you are you, you get something in my comparison guys if you like this video please click that like uh, button and also please don't forget to subscribe for more um, content like this and also for other promotions thank you so much for supporting me until next time let's go and enjoy the game bye